Hello Booktube, it's episode 12 of Hours in My Library. Last week we did a, an interesting book uh, with regards to industrial uh, labor and so forth. And there was one chapter on clocks and uh, timepieces. Uh, and it made me think of this book here, uh, which is t uh, this week's uh, hours in my labor library book. It's Old Clocks and Watches and Their Makers by F.J. Britton. It's kind of an unassuming book. It's quite big. Uh, it's a little rough around the edges. Uh, it was published by B.T. Batsford, one of my uh, favorite publishers, uh, in 1911. This is the third edition, much at large, enlarged, it says, with over 800 illustrations, mostly from photographs. And the subtitle sort of is, well, it's old clocks and their watches and their makers, being an historical and descriptive account of the different styles of clocks and watches of the past in England and abroad, to which is uh, added a list of 11,000 makers by F.J. Britton, author of The Watch and Clockmakers Handbook, Dictionary and Guide, uh, Watch Springing and Adjusting, etc., etc., there's the title page and uh, it's just full of um, illustrations pocket watches uh, early makers and uh, this is the progress of the English domestic clocks just full it is almost 800 pages with the index and yeah pocket watches uh, some of these would have been probably really nice in color because um, it shows sort of the uh, I would assume enameled uh, illustrations that are on the clock uh, the watches themselves uh, and I'm sure some of these would have been in color or just uh, these would have been, uh, you know, embossed, uh, you know, raised um, uh, cases uh, for the pocket watches. But, but yeah, here's some with uh, pictures and so forth. But just fabulous things. And he was a well-known horologist, uh, and he he wrote a lot of books. As he did it in the encyclopedia style, apparently. And I don't know uh, when he lived. Yeah, I got to be careful with this. This the binding's a bit loose. Uh, the other interesting thing about this copy, it was owned by Sir uh, A. E. Richardson, and it has his signature there, Amtel uh, Bedford. Uh, that's where he lived in a Georgian house. He was an architectural historian. He lived from 1880 and he died in 1964. And his his library was subsequently dispersed on a few occasions. And I've got probably ten books from his library. I would say uh, he also um, uh, he he enjoyed he had a huge collection apparently on roads. And I only got like a small collection of those. Uh, but you see gilt on the top here. Um, yeah, so, and he lived, yeah, he, he refused to put in electricity until I think the 50s into his Georgian house because he thought he needed to, to live uh, the way Georgians did to understand them. Uh, but he, he's written a lot of stuff. He was a teacher. Uh, he, I think he moved into the house in, in like the early uh, part of the 19, uh, 20th century. He was born, or he was born in 1890, so I think he, he married in his 20s and that's when he moved in and he and he did a lot of restoration projects he taught uh, he was quite interesting but you know that's just an adjunct to the book but it's just a fabulous book uh, it's not something that you sit down and read cover to cover you you open it up and you like you want to read a little bit about oval watches you know uh, or things like that it's just you know the the, the subjects headings are quite interesting here uh, it's still I think it's still in print uh, I believe but it's time and early time recorders it's chapter one chapter two weight clocks chapter three portable timekeepers chapter four pocket watches etc 
chapter 5, records of early makers, etc. Chapter 6, French clocks and cases in French style, other curious time makers or timekeepers. Chapter 7, the progression of English domestic clocks. And then chapter 8, mechanism of clocks and watches. And then there's the uh, watchmakers, uh, where it says there's thousands uh, listed in here. And he's got, uh, yeah, it's just a fabulous, interesting book. So there you go. There's this week's hours in my library. I'll be back next week with another book. Take care, BookTube.